My mother didn't know she was having twins until about, oh, I don't know, a week before she had us. So begins the life and times of Marty and Scott Glarvigan. So I arrived 45 minutes ahead of Scott, you know, breaking trail right away, you know, so <laughs> making sure that I had a path for him to follow. Oh, what a path it's been. Indeed, these Minnesota twins are major leaguers in angling enterprises, including a worldwide website, Wired to Fish, viewed by millions, all inspired and launched from Grand Rapids, their hometown. And it began fishing off the dock. We had uh, uh, grew up on a lake, Fair Lake, about three and a half miles from the house. And so Scott and I were constantly in the water. Which led to guiding for money at age 16. We had a place up on Cutfoot at Williams Narrows on the Lake Winnipeg Off system. We'd take resort people out in the, the resort boats and go catch some walleyes and stuff. And uh, the rest was history, I guess. The twins decided to enter the competitive world of National Walleye Tournament fishing. And boy, did we get our butts handed to us, okay? We knew how to catch walleyes between eight foot and 15 foot, but the other stuff was a little bit foreign to us. But uh, I guess we were <laughs> determined and stuck it out. And then I think what you had was is that failure is hard. You take it personally. And, uh, but having the two of us to collaborate and to come on, pick yourself up, let's go, we gotta make this happen. In 2000, Erwin Jacobs had launched the RCL Championship. They put on an event in Green Bay. It was worth uh, 400,000 for first. It was kind of the, one of the biggest fishing tournaments, period. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be working together with my twin brother and getting the right draw. I fished his spot, and uh, over the course of four days, I was the last man standing and uh, made a lot of money. Their tournament winnings went into expanding a fishing business, manufacturing, of all things, fishing towels. This is a sport towel, and this is what launched us into the business of fishing. So we went to Duluth, uh, University of Minnesota Duluth. I'm an industrial engineer, that's why I got my uh, degree oh, on. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, ergonomics, designs, and actually we had a class, industrial practices and processes. So we had to design a product, and I actually designed that to use your hands, to wipe your hands off, because it was cold, you wear it in your fly vest. Exactly. Or your hip. So I had 144 made because I, my sister sewed, my girlfriend sewed, and all that. Went to the graphics arts, put a tag in there, took them to the bait shops, put them in there, says class project, sell them for whatever you want, I'll come and get them after steelhead fishing come back after steelhead fishing and they were all sold. So it's kind of like, well, maybe we have something. And we did, so. <laughs> we sold over a million towels in uh, the rest. Kind of a rags to riches story. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Right. <laughs> Their fishing towel enterprise led to a booming custom fishing shirt business called Gemini. Danny Brower was the hottest fishing guy on the face of the planet. This jersey that we put together for Denny, and everybody saw it and said, where did you get this? And all of a sudden, people started coming to us, go, can you make a shirt for us? Mm -hmm. and of course, we didn't know how. We said, yeah, sure we can. Yeah, of course. <laughs> never say, <laughs> never they say no to an opportunity. Exactly, exactly. So, Amazing. But that, that's the poster child. That's, that's what launched us into the embroidery world and the clothing world. So, is this the end of their fishing business story? <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet. The next idea is Wired. Coming up, the Glorvigan twins hook into the internet and show the world why we are wired to fish.